Hey, what's up guys? It's Rachel and I'm back today with another unboxing from Jomar. I said I wasn't going to order any more Jomar stuff for now um, just because I have a ton of inventory already. But um, this box was in the clearance section and Jomar has like a name your price feature on the clearance items. So I think I got a pretty good deal on this. I guess it depends on what's in here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I am a part-time reseller, so I purchase items to resell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and um, yeah, so let's get right into this. Thank you guys for watching with me. Oh good, there's a receipt right on top, so I can tell you exactly what I paid for this. So the way they have it is they have the item at the regular price or the box in the clearance section and you can name your price on it and you basically make them an offer and um, if they accept their off your offer then they just charge you for it and ship it. So I offered them six, so this was $68.25. Oh, do you wanna know what we're opening? So <laughs> this box is uh, Essentials Mature CPR Women's pre -Lup, 30 pieces. So Mature CPR, um, I'm expecting like brands that are usually marketed toward uh, older women or like, you know, 40s, 50s, 30 pieces. And I paid $68.25 for this with a shipping of $20.59. So my total for this box was $88.84. We'll say $90, 30 pieces, $90. So this was about $3 per item cost of goods. So let's see what they sent me. I don't typically uh, buy a lot of the mature brands but maybe I should be. You know, I know a lot of people have really good luck with the more mature brands. So hopefully I will with this. Let's dive right in. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren, size six. And this is a dress. This is actually super cute. Um, this is a CPR box, so some of this stuff might be damaged. I don't know. I'm hoping it's not too bad. Um, but this dress is seriously adorable, so... Okay. Again, uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren is not a brand I, like, source, really. It, I mean, maybe for the right piece, but I typically don't pick it up. This is cute. This is a pencil skirt. What's the brand? This is J. Crew. Okay. J. Crew, and it is new with tags. It's a size eight. I need to get this listed like ASAP. This I think is very cute for 4th of July. This is Talbot's. This is the weekend chino. Um, I don't pick up a ton of Talbots, but when I do get Talbots in like rescue boxes or like these mystery boxes, it actually sells pretty well. Like to the point where sometimes I ask myself, like, why don't I pick up more Talbots? Um, this specific weekend chino actually I would expect would sell pretty quickly, um, especially if you can find them in the like with the cute little patterns or the cute little embroidered prints. I uh, won't complain about that. More pants. These are Talbots, Hampshire ankle. So these are like casual pants or maybe like ankle dress pants. They are uh, a size 16 petite, so good size. And they, um, they have a little like micro dot print. All right. This is a sleeveless dress. Here, let me move this box. There we go. This is a sleeveless dress from, it's like a color block dress. Calvin Klein, size 14. 
This appears to be pre-owned. Um, I haven't looked at this stuff yet. We are opening this box together. And so I will have to go back through and like just make sure there's no stains and stuff on the items. Uh, it does say CPR, so I expect that some of this is, you know, potentially pre-loved. Uh, these are Talbot's black dress pants. Size 12, so good. So Always check the crotch, guys. I am not going to show you, but these are bad news inside. Let's move on. Because those are a hard no. Okay. Now I'm paranoid. These are okay. These are Ellie Tahari for Nordstrom. Black ankle pants. They're kind of cool. They've got this like um, mixed fabric down the leg. And um, yeah, I probably won't try to sell these honestly because stuff like this. So first of all, black pants are hard to sell just because they're hard to photograph. Um, but I probably will send those to thread up because uh, I finally got my hands on like, they must open up like boxes um, or they must open up like labels or bags like once a month or something. I ended up getting um, six of them, I think. So I can actually do that now. I had or have been since the pandemic having the hardest time getting thread up boxes or labels to send them anything. This is another Ellie Tahari. This is a dress uh size six so something like this is probably very cute for like career wear or like dinner party maybe or maybe both i don't know if it used to have a belt but it is missing whatever belt um okay oh this is summery whatever it is So this is no size, no brand, wah, wah. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't like to really sell things without size or brand. It's just not worth listing. You know, I firmly, being a volume seller, I'm very much about brand. And I firmly believe that people like look for brands they love, sizes they know fit them, especially like Poshmark, you can't return things for size. So for me to say something like that has no size, no brand, and then try to still sell it, like, I mean, yeah, it's cute, but I try to stay away from that. So I probably won't list those. Okay, these are Banana Republic Aiden Chino. These are actually men's. Because of the size, I can tell right away, those are men's. Um, okay, the pockets are like unbuttoned, but they have the button. Some wash wear. They're actually really dirty. I'll have to, you probably can't see that, but um, there's a lot of dirt on these. I don't know, I'll have to try to wash them maybe. What else? This is uh, some kind of blouse, Calvin Klein. This is fun. Ooh. So it's white, which makes me nervous because white is very prone, of course, to staining, but otherwise this is super fun. Look at this thing. Okay, somebody needs this, right? Super cute. Probably not my style, but somebody's style for sure. This feels like linen. This is loft. These are shorts. Uh, yeah, these are a linen blend short from Ann Taylor Loft. Again, when I'm out thrifting, I do not pick up Loft. I just don't. It's a dime a dozen. Um, but these are a size 14, so they're a good size and they're in season. So if they're going to send me Loft, which I expected to be in this box anyway, but that would be an ideal piece, I guess, of any... And Taylor Loft. More black pants. 
These are Bassler, which, um, you know, I've heard of Bassler. I know Bassler is um, more of a higher end brand. I've never found it or sourced it. These pants have the highest high waist I've seen on a pair of dress pants, I think. They're, they're like a mile long, which is good, right? Um, they are just plain black dress pants. They are uh, a size 34 or whatever that is. Um, they're not wool or anything. They're acetate. So I'm not going to list these either, but I don't. I don't know if the real real takes Bassler. I've never found it, so I've never really looked. Um, if the real real takes that brand, I'll probably send it to them. If not, I'll send those to Thread Up. Linda Allard, Ellen Tracy. So this is a top. This is like a crunchy material. It's not. It's not very soft. It says 100% silk though. Um, when I think of silk, I think very fine, very soft, but this is not really fine or soft, but I guess it's silk. There is a stain on the front there, right there, and uh, I don't know how you get stains out of silk, so I probably won't list this. Banana Republic, too petite. These are dress pants, or I guess cropped dress pants. I don't know how petite is petite. The the model is Sloan. I like Banana Republic, so Old Navy Gap Banana Republic owned by the same company, and they always have the, the season tags. So these are spring 2016, so um, not the most current. Might send those to thread up too. I don't know. Why am I wanting to send all the inventory I just got to thread up? Seriously, I feel like it's getting too close to my wedding time and I'm starting to slowly not want to deal with stuff, um, which might be why I'm like, oh, let's just send everything in. But uh, I don't know. Okay, this is adorable, but it has no tags. I'll show it to you. It's like a striped, what's the name of this stripe? Nautical stripe? I don't know. Kind of smells funny. Not bad, just funny. Like, like it sat by the pool or got bleached or something, chlorine. But it literally has no tags or anything, so probably not going there with that. By the way, I did not expect that everything in this box was going to be sellable. In case you're wondering, that's how these boxes go. Not everything is sellable most of the time. Ooh, this is pretty. This is uh, Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Um, it's an, I don't know, uh, definitely has an asymmetrical hem. And it is a size large. I suck at holding this stuff up to actually show you guys. I'm sorry. That'll probably sell. I had no problem listing that. This is, oh, L.L. Bean. It's a quilted jacket, sweatshirt jacket, but it is new with tags. Okay, I'll take this too. Sure. Size medium. All right. This seems like it's taking forever. Let me let me speed this up. This is White House Black Market. I'm guessing this is a dress or maybe a tunic. It's got like the chevron print, kind of like a sweater with a bell sleeve. Bell sleeve. That's cute. Size medium. IDK, another brand I don't normally pick up. Um... This is Ann Taylor. It's a pencil skirt. I don't sell many pencil skirts. Um, even the ones I think are cute and will sell, don't sell. Um, but this is sailboats, I think. 
Maybe not. They look like sailboats to me. Calvin Klein. Ooh, this is a blazer. All right. Banana Republic, more um, Sloan cropped. These definitely have some wash wear. Size zero petite, so not my favorite size to try and sew. Talbots, the perfect crop. Size two petite. Couple, couple more, we're getting there, we're almost done guys. If you're still with me by the way, thank you very much. I appreciate you watching and sticking with me through this. Um, I think I've seen this box on the um, Jomar website recently. So check it out if you're interested. Um, I'm not affiliated with them. So this is just me telling you how to get it. This is DKNYC. So it's a, just a yellow blouse, flowy blouse. All right, White House Black Market. It is new with tags, size small. That's cute. Do you guys source these brands? There's a couple more, but I wanna ask you, do you guys source these brands, White House Black Market, Ann Taylor, um, Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren? Do you guys source these brands like at the thrift store? I'm curious because I normally pass them up, but I mean, I guess we're gonna see how they do. More um, Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is a um, like a chambray striped blouse. Couple more, couple more. Ooh, Calvin Klein skirt, size eight, pencil skirt. This is, ooh, equipment. Dang, they sent me equipment. Look at this. This, this is a bolo. Um, I know the real real takes this. What's wrong with it though? It's gotta be something. Is this too good to be true? Mm, bet you it's silk. Let's see. It is 100% silk. It has the dry clean tag on it. So when the dry clean tag is on it, it means one of two things. Number one, it's really clean because it was just dry cleaned or it was dry cleaned and donated because they couldn't get out the stains. And I'm gonna go ahead and say on this one, it's because they couldn't get out the stains. So this is pretty badly stained. There's some stains, you totally can't see that. I'm not even gonna try. But the biggest one here is the the armpits there's some significant armpit staining so wah, wah. it was a good thought if you find equipment though in good condition without the stains uh, definitely i would pick that up a couple more there's this one and one more uh okay that's not gonna work for me what is this black house white market so this is a corset top, and this has actually got like, um, what is it, like boning a little bit. So it's like, it's a solid like corset. Um, it's definitely been worn. It's definitely got some stains, but I will probably try to wash it. I like the embroidery on it. That's cute. All right, last one, last one. Ann Taylor, it's a flowy blouse. Feels like it might be silk. Let's see what I, no, 100% polyester. All right, so this should have been 30 items. Let me count them up real quick and see what we ended up with. Okay, this is exactly 30 items. Um, so is this a good box? Again, you know, if you if you watch my channel, if you're subscribed, which thank you by the way, if you are subscribed, 
uh, or if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably heard me say, I'd like to buy mystery boxes, rescue boxes, liquidation boxes, um, good, bad, or indifferent, they end up being learning opportunities for me. So I end up learning usually about different brands that I've never heard of or having to look up different styles, look up comps on things that I might have just straight up passed up at the thrift store because at the thrift store, I'm looking for things I know that I need, right? I know that will sell bread and butter, certain bolo brands, but other stuff I would never pick up if I like just, I don't know, I wouldn't pick it up. But like this, so this is a box full of stuff I would have probably never picked up at the thrift store if I were sourcing myself, looking through. But now that I have it, I'm gonna give it a try. The cost of goods at $3 a piece, I thought was the right price for stuff like this because I do know the right pieces will sell pretty well. Um, I think what I'm gonna end up doing with this box, just at first glance, I'm probably going to pick out maybe 10 or so pieces that I really liked that I think will sell quickly. And then the rest of it, I'm gonna send to thread up. Um, I do know that some of these brands or probably most of these brands, they will sell faster for whatever reason on thread up. Now, I wouldn't normally source these brands at $3 a piece to send a thread up because I don't know um, that I would get that much for it to be it worth three dollars specifically to spend on these but um yeah i think to pull out the pieces that i'll make my money on the box right make my money back and send the rest in for the sake of not having it sit around here because i don't know if you can see but there's a lot going on in this room and it's it's tiny and i just don't have the room to to like sit on stuff like this that may or may not sell quickly so um I'll do a 90 day update on this box as well, just to let you guys know what I ended up doing with this stuff. Um, so definitely subscribe to my channel or consider it if you haven't already. Uh, I do a lot of reseller related content. I film my thrift hauls and a what sold video once a month. Um, and then I also unbox these boxes live with you guys. So I would love to see you again in a future video. Drop me a like if you found this valuable and helpful, and uh, I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys, update on this Jomar box. So I uh, normally do a 90-day recap video for, you know, what sold out of the boxes, and we determine if it was a good box based on what sold and what is still hanging around and how much money I made, right? Um, that is not happening on this box because when I took all this stuff out to like inventory it and start listing it, I just decided I don't want to deal with this. You know, there are um, a, a lot of brands I just don't pick up because I just don't like to deal with them. And I've got so much inventory. I've picked up so much good stuff thrifting lately and I've had a lot going on, you know, my, for those of you that follow me, my wedding is coming up. I've had a lot of like family stuff going on. And so I just was like looking at this stuff and I said, I do not want to deal with this. So I taped up that box, left everything in it and slapped a thread up label on it and sent it into thread up. And I will not be listing any of that stuff myself. Now, um, if I was really looking to make a profit, that was probably not the best idea. Uh, I put expedited shipping on this box because I wanted to like hurry up and see what they were gonna do with it. Um, my other thread up boxes that I send up, uh, send to them end up like taking like 16, 20 weeks to process. And I really wanted to see like what they were gonna do with this stuff. So I did use one of my expedited labels for this and they processed my kit accepted 19 of the items which was 63 percent and it says that if i sell everything at full asking price or what they priced it at that i would make 110 dollars. so obviously not a huge profit um i kind of just i'm hoping for my money back because i decided i won't want to didn't want to deal with that box so um was it a good box i don't know you guys tell me tell me in the comments did you think it was a good box if you had 
the time and the resources, the storage space, all that, to list what came in that box. Would you have kept it? Would you have listed everything in there? What do you guys think? I'm gonna ask you guys what you think about this box and if you would call this a good box because I honestly still don't know. I, st I think, you know, if ThreadUp were to give me 100% of what they sell it for, it probably would have been a good box, but I'm obviously not gonna get that. Uh, but that's okay because I'm not also not dealing with it. So let me know what you think. Um, there will be no 90 day recap on this. This is your recap right here, right now. Um, the maximum I'm gonna get is $110. Of course, we know we never get the maximum. I, for those of you that sell on ThreadUp, you know like a lot of times stuff doesn't sell after there are 60 days or 90 days or whatever. Um, I probably will not reclaim any of it so we'll call it even we'll call it a wash um i will probably i will not order that box again i just nothing wrong with it again for those of you that need inventory yeah it's it was it was decent and um the, the cost of goods was low and probably would have been a good profit i just <laughs> just didn't want to deal with it like i don't know do you guys get that way you just decide you don't want to deal with stuff and you just get rid of it Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But anyway, that's the update on this box. Um, nothing against Jomar, this is not like Jomar's fault. It's just, why did I even order this, right? For myself, it, I, I wouldn't order that again. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. I will catch you in the next one.